Hello everyone, this is Pragya Sudhvati. In today's video, I am going to show how to attach a file from Power Apps screen to the SharePoint document library using a attachment icon. So let's see how to build this. Before that, my introduction. So this is my Power Apps screen. We need an attachment control in this Power Apps screen to attach a file to our SharePoint library. So we don't have any direct attachment control in the Power Apps. For this, we have this forms. So we need to edit this and I will add a SharePoint list as a data source so that I will get this attachment control. In this form, the attachment control is in this data card value. I will just copy this and paste this on the screen, which is outside this form. And for now, I'll just delete this form as I don't require this now. And I'll fix this attachment control by removing all the formulas which is giving error now. So this is a clean attachment control I get from the forms. And suppose I'm going to attach a file. It is showing me all files. We can attach any type of files like Word, PDF, Excel, etc. For now, let's add a media that is image control on the screen, which is a key element for the attachment control in Power Apps. Suppose I will add an image file, I'm adding uh, my channel logo and I want to display this in this image file. For this, I will just write this code as last and I'll just rename this attachment control as attachment control. And here I'll just add the code as last attachment control dot attachments dot value. By this, we are just getting the display of the image we, uh, which I attached in my attachment control. So if I am going to add other than the image, suppose I will add a doc file here and the image will not display here as it is a doc file. So for this, we need to see the JSON value of this file for that we need to add a button on the screen which will convert the image to JSON. For this, we need to set a variable on the on select property of this button. So the set, the variable name will be var attachment control. JSON image one dot image which include binary data this will convert the image to json and include the binary data in the variable so to check the value of this variable i'll add a label on the screen and on the text property of this label i'll add this variable name as var attachment control and when I click this button, converted here, JSON binary data. So let's change the property overflow of this label from hidden to scroll. So it is clearly visible, the JSON binary data. So now I will set another variable to remove the extra text from this variable. For that, we need to set another variable on the same button Let's say set 
van base 64 so i will add so i'll add this code to find the binary data by removing the extra text from the var attachment control i'll add another level on the screen and the text property of this label i'll add the variable name as var base 64 When I click on this button and I'll change the property to scroll, you can notice all the extra text like the inverted comma, the slash, columns, all are removed from the level. So our second step for save an attachment from Power Apps to SharePoint to Create a power automate flow which will trigger from power apps. For that, we have to create a new flow. Let's click on instant cloud flow and I'll name a flow as save file. It will trigger from power apps and click on create to create a flow. Add a new step. Search for create file and the site address. I want to set the site address in which I want to store this document and folder path. Select here share documents. The file will be stored in this documents library. So file name will ask in Power Apps. File content is also ask in power apps if i'll select here ask in power apps i will get here the create file content i'll wrap up this with base 64 to binary and i'll remove this so let's save this. So this flow is now ready to save the attachment from Power Apps to SharePoint document library. For that, we need to add the Power Automate flow in our Power Apps. And for this, we have to insert a button on the screen. And in this button, I will add the flow. So let's click on action, Power Automate. And it is showing the flow which we built now. This is save file. Let's add this by clicking on the save file flow. The flow is added now. I'll just copy this code and I'll paste here the button in which I have added the previous code. And I can delete the button. It is not required. In this button, I have added the code as the flow and the last attachment control dot attachments. Its name and the var base 64. Let's attach a file. Let's attach a doc file. And click on save file. And I'll check on the document library of SharePoint. The file is saved here and it's few seconds ago. Now let's go to the power up screen. We'll customize the attachment control in our screen. I can just remove the labels which are showing the values of the variable or I can just do the visible off so that it will not be visible when I click the button. And also, I can copy all the code which I have written in this save file button and select the attachment control and the properties we have that on add file. 
and paste this code in this on add file and for now if i'll remove save file button and i will attach a file any file let's check in the document library the file is here similarly i can attach another file the file is here so as you can notice here when i click on this attach file link and i'll attach a new file the link of this attach file will comes down in the box so for this we have a solution on the on add property of the attachment control we need to add a reset code to reset attachment control so in this case when i attach a new file the box will be reset but also i don't want this attachment control box on my screen and i want a icon i have a paper clip icon in my icon list this is the attachment icon i just want to add this attachment icon to attach my file so let's see how we can do this i'll place this just above the link this is item color make it transparent and item error color will be transparent and item feel will be transparent max attachment color will be transparent no attachments color will be transparent and is color make it transparent and we have this attachment control border thickness we need to do it zero and i have to place this attachment control on the top now let's do one more thing uh, of this attachment control uh, transparent that is fill by this the attachment clip will come up from the attachment control and now when now when i click on this paper clip uh, icon it will give me to attach any file from my system uh, let's add this and this file will be added in my sharepoint document library i hope this concept will be useful for you to use this on your application thank you for watching